is ready to unbox some yarn. Really, we're unbagging. I can't wait for it. Ordered a whole bunch of Kenyan acrylic right there. There's about eight and a half kilos of yarn over there, a whole bunch of colors. I have some projects upcoming that I wanted some of my bright colors and that awesome gray. So I ordered a whole bunch of that, plus black, plus white, plus some greens for some plants. Can't have enough shades of green. And also I'm looking for some flower colors, anything that could be gardeny. So also ordered some colors like that for the Bloomscape Cal. So let's get unboxing. Unbagging. Let's get unbagging. <laughs> so excited. So I just ordered this from a shop downtown, Nairobi, and they bring it to me. I have some of the yarn samples already from the factories, and they sent me some to try from the third company, Robin. Ooh, so this is gonna be dirty wordy. But let's see. Is that white? That's not white. That's my cream. What's this? Interesting, I'll show you that in a sec. Okay, let's move this Ooh, to the side. So these are some flower shades, some nice garden colors from Robin Yarn. Already getting dirty hands. I did not order full packs of these because I'm not sure how different they are. This is a great color. I would be getting more of this. Well, I'll let you look at a different shade. This is a lot softer than some of the other yarn that I have tried. I can also see there's a little scrap hanging out the bottom. So beggars can't be choosers, but it's really soft. It is really soft. So that is the brand Robin. And on the label it says 100 grams, Tex S Twist, 110 TPM, plus or minus seven and a half percent, whatever that means. Manufactured by Spin Knit in Nakuru, which is pretty great. It does not say the color, <laughs> the color and lot. It usually should have a little sticker, like a little stamp on there but I cannot read what that stamp is. This one I can read. That I can read. And that's a nice shade. I definitely be getting more Robin yarn. This color is great. I was gonna have to open up a big 200 gram saver to get this pink for the Alberta Rose. Is that not just a great shade for Alberta Rose? Yes it is, yes it is. So those are great colors. Softer. I don't wanna say it's softer, but I think it's softer than uh, Ken Knit and softer than Spinner and Spinner. Next, I had to get, had to get more of that off-white shade, what I'm edging my Bloomscape Cal squares with, just that one little edging row in this off-white. It was so squishy and soft, felt really good, kind of like this Robin yarn. So I went and got extra because that is so great, I could use it for any project. I could mix that happily with imported acrylic. That one was really, really good. So I got more of that. Now, gray. This gray, I like it so much. It is the same gray I used for my very first polka dot blanket. So it's like nostalgic, it's nostalgic. So what I wanna do, I have a plan coming up for a really cute blanket. And this is the yarn I wanna use for it. This with a whole bunch of bright colors. So this is gonna be like my dark, like the main color of it. Now, let me open one for you because you gotta see this shade of gray. It's really great. 
not as soft as Robin, like by a lot, but the color is great. So, and this is color 112. When you're using it, it can look a little blue and it can look a lot gray, but it's a really good color. So I'm gonna be using this for my project. So I got three packs. There is 500 grams in a pack, so I got one and a half kilos or 15 balls. That should be enough. Now black. One, two, and three. Just regular black. I have another project I wanna do with black which I could tell you about real quick. I wanna take, you know all the granny squares that I've made over the years, or you have made over the years? You know that your granny squares, a whole bunch. You didn't use them, they're extra, they didn't quite work out, something weird with it, whatever. I'm gonna join all of my granny squares together, all the different shapes with black. So I'm gonna make like a random granny square blanket joined in black. So I thought that'd be kind of fun to do. Didn't, I don't want to use anything fancy. I don't want to use ice yarns for it because it's just random squares made of who knows what. So cheap and cheerful Kenyan acrylic in black for that. Another three packs. Green. This is like a Christmas green. And I should have somewhere in here. Oh, I didn't get Christmas red. One, two, three, four, so that's nine, right? 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Oh, that's wrong. This is the wrong color. This is supposed to be Christmas red. I ordered wrong, obviously. So imagine that it's Christmas red with the Christmas green. <laughs> uh, that's a cute color. That's like our old concrete color. All these remind me of back when we were like starting crochet class and things like that. So fun. So what I do want to do with my gray is do like a little rainbow with all the neon colors. I already have the yellow. I already have the green. I already have the lavender, the lilac. So I'm going to do like a neon-y bright colors to go with my gray. So, collected some of those. Plus, can't have enough bougainvillea. Hopefully this one is soft. Oh, it is. Okay, that's gonna be good. Love it. So only one fail so far. Now, here we go. Here's some Robin in the two shades of green. I could have just gotten the one shade. Even that's a bit dark. I don't want to open it because I just want to put it on the shelf. But see, one's like a dark army green and one's like a regular army green. They looked a little lighter. This looked, it looked like this was the dark color and then there was like a fern shade. Uh, that'll still be good, something Christmassy, evergreeny. And this green I still do like a lot, but not what I was hoping for. And the last one, oh, I remember this now. <laughs> It looked like a really nice pink for flowers. And it is, but when I started crocheting, we made a baby blanket out of it. Well, we did, one of my students did. And you know those projects where they take so long to do and you kind of fall out of love with the colors you used? Well, this one was mixed, this shade was mixed with a lilac sounds great sounds good to be so cute but after the fact we were like what hmm? no can't do it so these are colors to use for flowers both of those would be so cute and all of these actually all of these can be used for flowers oh this can be for my orange my orange flowers in my front yard so literally I'm just going around collecting size 4 worsted weight acrylic in any garden shade that I can find legit so really happy with those really happy with robin i could use more robin for sure i better call them up be like hi robin <laughs>
What is it? What's the name of this company? I'm going to find them. I drove past their factory. Where were we going? Oh, we went so far that time. We drove like really far. But I saw their, their, uh, their, comp their factory. Spin Knit. Spin Knit Limited. Well, I'm finding you Spin Knit Limited because that is impressive. That was like a little cherry. All of them are soft. The orange is not as soft. All of these are squishy soft. Wow. Sometimes, you know when they spin the ball of yarn? <laughs> when you spin your ball of yarn, uh, you spin it really tight and then it can feel a bit like scratchier. But these feel like they're spun, they're spun loose and they feel really good. Hmm. Well, I'm impressed with Robin, I'll tell you that much. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. Now I gotta put all this away, <laughs> as usual, right? So super excited, I got some projects to work on, got some colors for, my, for the cow, super excited about it. I hope you're having fun collecting all of your colors and we'll see you in the next video. Stay hooked. <laughs>